YouTube. Well, here is this 2013 Ford Mustang GT with 290 miles. And yes, this is the first 2013 car I've ever done. And for this year, there have been some updates to the Mustang, such as in the rear, you can see the tail lights are slightly different. And the front end, sure some more resemblance to the GT500 or the Boss, one of the two, but you can see the obvious difference. It's a very nice update. Also, there was a slight horsepower boost too. 2012 was 412 horsepower, and I think in this year it goes up to 420 on the 5 liter V8. You can see the interior pretty much identical for the most part. I really don't notice any differences yet. Oh, this one may also have... No, this one doesn't have it. I know for 2013 some Mustangs actually come with a projector under the mirrors which actually projects the Mustang logo right on the ground, so that would be quite nice to see. Yeah, I can get you. Let's just do a startup for the hell of it. Maybe they changed the exhaust note. And this one has the six-speed manual. This is pretty much a basic model GT. The driver's seat is manually adjusted, no power seat at all. You can see it's a bar, but you can elevate it right here. Once you have it up, thigh support is pretty good. No complaints at all, really. This is the backrest right there, straightforward. And legroom, quite good for the most part. Center stack is a little bit on the fat side, but it's not too bad. Lots of shoulder room. You don't feel tiny in this car. Visibility is excellent. You can see the rear deck, very nice. The seats are very comfortable. Backrest, nicely bolstered on the sides. You're just hugged into this seat. These are very comfortable seats, and this does make a great car to drive on road trips. That's how comfortable it is. Now, in my opinion, comparing it to the Challenger and Camaro, definitely. Interior quality is the best of the two. Dashboard nicely padded throughout here, even this section. Nicely done. Glove box, it is not damp surprisingly, and it does have a sharp edge. And it's a bit on the tiny side too. Oh, everything is just smushed in there. There we go. Everything is quite even for the most part. Well, I don't see anything uneven. Everything, even towards this side, this is all padded. Power outlet right up above. Display for the radio. This does have satellite radio. You can see Sirius satellite radio. Aux jack, I'll show you where that is in a moment. Climate control, it's not dual zone or anything like that. It's just a plain climate control. Stability control, hazards. trunk to latch, and obviously the six-speed manual. What makes this car? E-brake, cup holder, center console is sure-footed. It's not going to jiggle around. Um, aux jack, another power outlet coin holder. If you have a charger for your cell phone and such, you can actually drag the cord over to the slot over here, close to the center console, and you can just leave your phone just tossed in here into the cup holder, so that's a bit convenient. The lid is a bit on the jiggly side, and even though the lid looks hard, it is actually very comfy. It feels like it's gel padded. <laughs> side to the center console, hard grainy plastic. Yeah. Steering wheel, nicely thick, exposed stitching, and I loved how you can see the stitching is white, the string that they chose there. Cruise control, vehicle info. So just reset right there. You'll get your average MPGs, let me see. 
Ooh. <laughs> it says 15, but this car only has 290 miles. I think this is supposed to give off 26 miles per gallon, somewhere around there, for the V8. Radio controls. This steering wheel only tilts, does not telescope, sadly. I would have wished for it to come towards me a little bit. Wipers, it's intermittent speed, panel dim, headlamps, automatic in that position, pole for fogs. Let's talk about the door panel, the entire thing, hard, cheap, grainy plastic. The side here is padded with vinyl though. Armrest too, nicely padded. And back down to the cheap stuff again. You can see the edge right there, shaving somewhat. Both windows, auto up and down. You can say power door locks, power mirrors. And Ford has been utilizing this blind spot mirror right on this side right there. On most of their cars in the 2010 lineup. Now fit and finish on the A-pillar is quite good as it's one huge piece so you really can't judge for gaps. Same deal applies on the passenger side. Headliner nicely plush. Sun visor mirror and vanity lights. And it's also quite plush. Slides out too, you can see. Comes in handy once you tilt it to the side. Same deal on the passenger side. Mirror and vanity lights. Map lights here. Simple stuff. Push on, push off. So, yeah, the hood is already dislatched. The latch is right down there. Trunk too, and let's look at the rest of this car. Wait, you leave the window rolled. You can see the size. Where it brakes, obviously. You can see the tail lights, the rings right there. I'm quite sure this will light up the turn signals, let me see. Yeah, there we go. It's quite nice. Trunk access on the Mustang really is quite lousy. But once you go past that, room is quite good. It's a lot, rather large trunk, you can see. Emergency latch. Spare. It's not even a steel wheel either. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, the update is quite nice in the back. Really fresh in the car. And considering this is a basic model GT, it's Quite badass looking. You can see the hood vents right there. I'm sorry, this is actually the end of my tour, but I forgot to do the back seat. That's why the car is off. Let me show you. There's the back seat. Really isn't much room at all. Um, unless the passengers are around 5'5", five five, around that height, or 5'8". Rear passengers will be somewhat comfortable for the most part, but it's really not that big of a deal. The seats are very plush, actually. At least they did that part quite good. You can see it, very cushiony. And the headrests actually tumble. You can see, there's a button right on the side you can make out on that headrest. So that was quite thoughtful. But the sides here, all this grainy plastic. So, yeah, that's the back seat. And they do fold down. Right, take off that seat belt. You have to open the headrest, and you can see. So yeah, cargo won't be a problem in this car, especially once you fold down the seats. Let me put this back the way it was. Oh, they're HIDs. And the best part of this car, this beautiful engine, out of the big three, it's one of the most attractive looking engines. Well, 
let's get to revving this one. It's very sexy. Exhaust is just perfect. Windows closed. Oh man, I so want to take this car out. up a little bit. YouTube, that's it for this 2013 Ford Mustang GT.